Tension between Governor Nome and certain tribal nations continues to intensify. The Rosebud Sioux Tribe announcing their stand in solidarity with other tribes and joining in on the ban of Governor Christy Nome from their reservations. First Alert investigator Beth Warden tonight describes what would happen if she entered those reservations and what it might take to have these bans lifted. Of the nine Native American tribal reservations in South Dakota, Governor Nome is now banned from four of them. The Oglala Sioux Tribe announcing the ban February 2nd, Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe April 2nd, Standing Rock Sioux Tribe April 10th, and the latest notice was issued by the Rosebud Sioux Tribe on Thursday. The actions stem from tension that began during the COVID pandemic to recent comments made by Governor Nome that tribal officials claim are untrue and racially charged. Chase Ironize of the Lakota Law Project says the ban is serious. This is the first sitting governor that is going to be declared an illegal and treated as an illegal person inside of 14% of land that she claims is within her civil and regulatory jurisdiction. And if she'd enter a banned area? Forcible removal, detainment, those are all within tribal legal enforcement capabilities. Representative Eric Emery also weighed in on the conflict, submitting a third official demand that the Rosebud Sioux tribal flag be removed from the Capitol, saying the state of South Dakota needs to acknowledge and address the injustices the indigenous people have faced. Governor Nome must promptly return the RST tribal flag to the Rosebud Sioux tribe as a clear sign of reconciliation and mutual respect. What would it take for Governor Nome's ban to be lifted? A public apology. Maybe she she asked for a meeting. In Sioux Falls, Beth Warden, Dakota News Now. Now we have requested an interview or a comment from Governor Nome's office today, and we will update you with any future response we might receive.